morning y'all it is tournament day okay, i'm here we're ready to get started on the vi for vet spare fishing tournament in st thomas virgin islands we were supposed to be in the water at 6 it's 6 20 and my brother is in here with the boat so we're losing some time here but hopefully we can make up for it anyway see you guys down there man huh, you may be wondering why is he swimming in the lagoon well the boat won't start Ah boy, we are not off to a good start. Thomas, spearfish tournament! Woo yeah. 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 Hey. yeah! Hey, welcome back, man. The break is over, man. The COVID done, man. We get to hang out. We get yeah, to see son. each other, man. We get to do cool stuff, man. Hey, so we're here. We're gonna do this. It's gonna be an epic day tomorrow. I don't know if anybody looked at the weather, man, but it's gonna be kicks. Uh, yeah, don't shoot something ain't on the list. Kill all them live fish, man. Get rid of them. Kill as many as you can. There's a prize for that. There's a trophy and everything. Kill the live fish. If you see a live fish, kill it. Really great conditions for the tournament. The best a diver can ask for. The water is calm and visibility is excellent. There's a bit of a current here, but I see lots of fish in the distance. I'm using my homemade flasher for the first time. It's PVC pipe and flashy tape. It creates a curiosity point for the fish and can allow me to get a bit closer. The flasher first catches the attention of a barracuda. It's not on the list of fish for the tournament, so I keep waiting. As the flasher continues to drop, a horse-eyed jack comes in for a closer look. And so do I. I honestly thought this was a Jack Creval at first. Horse Eye Jack is not on the tournament menu. But hey, it's not going to go to waste and a practice shot never hurt nobody. I keep my eye on the flasher so that I can retrieve it after I get the Jack on the boat. That shark must have got the memo that we in the water today. Ooh. The only thing that seems to be over here is more barracuda and a school of horse hijack. Think it's time to move on. So we make our way around the other side to see if we can spot anything else. Almost immediately, I see two decent sized fish below me and work on dropping without spooking them. I don't know why I dropped the flasher right next to me, but I don't want to miss this opportunity. I recognize that it's African Pompano. The last time I went face to face with an African Pompano, I made a dead center shot, but the flopper on my shaft didn't engage and the Pompano got away. The flashback haunts me to this day. I'll leave a link to that video at the end if you want to share in my pain. The bigger fish it was to the right but further away, so I kept on the small one and take my shot.
This wasn't a kill shot, so I work on pulling the fish in. That joker was kind of strong. We decide to try one more corner of the big rock before moving elsewhere. There's an Almaco Jack down below. Not on the tournament list, but a very tasty fish. But he gets to see another day. There were a lot of jellyfish in the water, which is why I am fully covered. We make a turn back into the current heading back to the boat. There's a nice trigger fish right under me. Also not on the tournament list, but who can resist old wife? This one turned out to be a personal best at about 17 inches. And it's time to move to another site.
This school, Massa Snapper, is also not on the tournament list, but in my opinion, this is one of the sweetest snappers in existence. Not the greatest shot, but it was enough to hold it. And we take our chance at one more sight before time is up and we have to call it quits. We have to be back at Hull Bay for weigh-in by 1 p.m. and time is running out. And I haven't even seen one lionfish. I find a lobster honey hole, but it's filled with babies. They stand no chance of being the biggest lobster in the competition. We hightail it to Hull Bay. Now to get the fish into the cooler and onto shore for weigh-in. Here's a look at what the other divers brought in. The Department of Planning and Natural Resources, Fish and Wildlife Division was at the event collecting data and recorded lengths, weights, and locations of the fish that were harvested in the tournament. So I had two to enter. Good one though. <laughs> That's the length. 20, fishing start time. Uh, just don't be careful. You have to be right there. Go End time. Tell me the diver that caught it. Is that diver bigger than the next one? Okay. Number of divers? 45.7. Four areas in. 43.4. All right, guys, weigh-in is over. We're going to get out of here and come back at 5 for the award ceremony. I'll see you guys there. Uh, we're going to start with the junior biggest male lobster by weight. Uh, All right. <laughs> All right. The junior biggest male lobster by weight goes to Sunny on the sea weasel, captained by Peter with a 3.6 pound lobster. Congratulations. Thank you. 
$375. And along with this trophy, it's going to be $375 and a tap and gift card for 100 bucks. Best Junior Diver with the biggest fish by weight is Thomas Lede on Flash. Captain by Andrew Laplace and Michael coming in at 7.85. What was it? What fish was it? Second what fish? The spear gun donated by Scotty from High Tech. One tap. Nice. Oh, that's long too. Oh, it's about as tall as he is. <laughs> Female divers out here. So, uh, this has been our biggest tournament yet, and uh, we really appreciate you guys coming out and participating. This fish, by the way, is Andrea Trombe. Uh, yeah. on, on Mary Jane, captained by Josh Baker, with a cute fish of 25.8 pounds. I wonder why they shoot. $75 and a $100 gift card to Exit. All right. Woo Bonito. Uh, he had six different species with mixed bag with a total of 23.85 pounds. Nice. Congratulations. So he will also win $375 in a latte. Okay, the Paradise gift card for 50 bucks. Hey. Woo! 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 And he appears. All right, Jerry. So Jerry with Admiralty Dive Center supported this trophy. He sponsored it. Uh, and this trophy for most lionfish per diver goes to Brian C. on Moose, captained by Jerry Cowan with four lionfish. All right. Congratulations. <laughs> this diver will also receive $375. Congratulations. This goes to Andrea Trombe on the All right. All right. Right, and VI for Vets, it's a non-profit, uh, you know, to support veterans in the community, right? you know, different programs, different things, several events throughout the year, just to bring veterans together, you know, hang out, man, you know, peer support, man, it's healing, you know, be around people that understand you, you know, so uh, every year we do a, a veterans event, right, and uh, I'm sorry, Veterans Day event. Right, and on, so 11 11 Veterans Day every year. So, what we do is we run a catamaran and uh, free for all the veterans, man. Pack it full of vets, man. Yeah. Food and drinks and snorkeling, and you know, it, something about being on the water here it's, it's cathartic, man. Yeah. It's, it's healing, man. Just being on the water and then being around people that can understand you, being around people that makes you feel that you're not alone, that understand where you're coming from. Spend the day out there. Look, the difference that it makes in people's lives, yeah, it looks like all oh, just like hey, fun. Hey, let's get drunk. Hey, let's go snorkeling. Turtles. Yeah. Oh, man, it's, it's bigger than that. Man. It's really bigger than that. And so this tournament helps to pay for it. We, this VF events is just a grassroots thing, you know? Me, my wife and I and Rick, we're like, hey, nobody's doing nothing for the vets. Let's do something for the vets. So we started this, man, and uh, you know, uh, and the Veterans Day event is a big deal, man. You, you can really, you can feel inside the difference that it makes when you see the faces of these guys, man. Dude, I'm getting You're getting, you getting, getting some goosebumps here. Yeah, man. No, well, it's, you know, it, it's not just for them. You know, look, me and Becca, dude, we did two wars, you know? And, 
we're you know we're good man we ain't got all my fingers and toes yeah uh but it's healing for us it helps us mm -hmm. it, doing good and doing doing something positive and making a difference in somebody's life man it, it it's healing for me yeah. and for my wife and that's why we do it man and that's what this event's about is so that we can pay for that expensive ass boat man because them things ain't cheap <laughs> yeah, they you know ain't. what i'm saying <laughs> Hey, whatever, man. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's so worth it, man. It's, and that's what this event is about because somebody got paid for it. Right, right. <laughs> As promised, you can click above to see the African Pompano that got away. Or click the playlist below to join me for more diving in the Virgin Islands. And until next time, my friends, stay salty.